What's up guys, it's Mike. Today I'm gonna show you guys how to install tire lettering from TigerTires.com on my 2011 Subaru WRX. So this is basically what you'll need. Either a microfiber or a clean shirt, rag, or anything clean, a brush, 150 grit sandpaper, a general degreaser, and this will be alcohol, any rubbing alcohol that you have at home. This is a simple starter kit that you can use. Here's the most important part in installing a Tiger Tires kit. It's the prep before you actually install it. So cleaning is number one priority here. You can use any general degreaser and spray the tire down. And then I use a semi-soft brush to scrub down the tire. The most important thing for this installation is the prep. You have to make sure your surface is completely clean. That way the bond between the lettering and the tire is 100%. And then you're gonna take a t-shirt or a rack like I did. Rub the tire to remove any excess dirt. I cleaned that same surface three times, but you can do it as many times as you want. And you're gonna repeat the same process by spraying, scrubbing, and wiping it down. Take your sandpaper and start scrubbing where you're gonna apply your letters. The goal here is to create a clean new surface for the letters to stick to your tires. Even and light pressure is recommended. Of course, as you sand down your tire, just be careful not to hit your rim. You'll notice little fine particles of rubber will be left over as you sand down your tire. Take your clean rag with alcohol on it and rub down the tire to remove any fine particles that were left over from the sanding. This portion is also very important to remove any of the fine particles so make sure you take your time and apply alcohol to your clean rag and continuously wipe down the tires. Now that your tire is clean, take your tire letters and prepare them to be installed. All you need to do is wipe down the letters with alcohol. In this case, I put it on a clean rag and wipe the letters onto the rag. This will also ensure the letter is ready to bond with the tire. Now onto the glue. Take the specially formulated glue and apply it to the back of the letters. A good technique is to trace the letters with the glue and then work from the outside all the way in, making sure the thickest part of the glues are from the inside all the way towards the edges. Now onto installing it on the tire. I'll show you multiple angles of this. Take your letter and line it up with your tire. I use a reference point, which is the outer line of the tire. The glue creates an instant bond. So once it sticks, apply pressure to the letter so that way it sticks to the tire. You're going to repeat this process the same way for every letter. Here's another important tip. You wanna apply just enough glue, but not too much where it gets pushed out when applying the letter to the tire. But not to worry, if that does happen, that can be cleaned up at the end of the installation. Also, one bottle of glue can install up to four kits. That's almost 70 letters. If you take a close look, you'll see how I'm lining up the R and the X with the outer line of the tire. I use this as my reference point. That way my letters are evenly spaced and straight. Same as you did before, once the letter is in place, you're gonna apply pressure all over the letter. That way it bonds directly to the tire. If you notice your edges coming up, just apply more pressure in those corners like I'm doing right here. As I did with the other letters, I'm cleaning the letters first, applying the glue, and then applying it onto my tire. Here's another trick to get the letters to really stick. Stand up, turn your palm around, and press into the letters. That way it pushes directly into the tire. When I was installing this kit, my main concern was how much glue you need to put on. So I'm gonna show you this one more time. This time I'm working on the letter R. As you can see, I'm working from the outside edges, tracing the letter and then working on the inside of it. Here's another pro tip. Apply little dots of glue on the edges of the letters. That way you ensure the edges stick. As you can see here, I hover the letters over the tire and find its placement. And once I'm happy, I apply pressure to it and then I have a few seconds to move it around if I need to. But for the most part, the bond is instant. So press into the letter and into the tire. One last thing, all these letters come with a protective coating for insulation. If you're impatient and you wanna peel it off, you can peel it off by the corner, but you can leave it for a few days and it'll come off by itself. That's more recommended, by the way. So what do you think? Pretty easy install, right? Easily done at home, doesn't need a professional. Pretty easy kit, four kits to complete this set. I have 16 letters on each tire, so that's one, two, three, and four kits right there. Beautiful, easy installation done at home. But guys, be creative. Some guys are putting some crazy stuff on their tires already. But anyways, a little gift for you guys. Smurf and 10 for 10% off. You like it? Looks good, right? Okay, ready? Fist bump, TigerTires.com. If you want to purchase the kit, visit TigerTires.com, Smurf and 10 for 10% off. If you guys want to watch more of my videos, click on the big video. That's when I review the car. The other video is when we went to Vegas.